Want to know why she doesn't text you back? Why she takes hours to respond back to you? I'm gonna let you know straight up. Look, you're a boring ass texter, bro. It is a little drag for her to have to respond back because there's nothing for her to gain out of that conversation. Look, if you're the dude that's always opening up texts with like a hey or, a, or what you're doing or a good morning, beautiful, you're probably that boring texter I'm talking about. But yo, 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 don't get pressed. I'm here to help you out. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly what you should be doing to not be that boring texter. Let's hop into it. Number one, you're taking too long. See, texting is not a conversation, like an in-person conversation. And it's not meant to be treated like that type of dialogue. And it is because you do treat it like that dialogue that you always lose. So that what ends up happening is that you end up dragging on these boring ass long conversations with little small talk where, do you know how boring it is for a girl to always have to respond to a what you doing type of text every single day when her days are probably just boring and normal. That's why no girl wants to engage with it or respond to your text or hit you back or it takes hours to respond back. So when you do text, if you know you're a boring texter, always text with a goal in mind. So it should be to link up, to set a date, etc. Number two, I need you to switch it up. Look, I need you to start messaging her with snaps or maybe hop on a FaceTime call. See, it could be that you're just a personable dude, more likable when you're in character versus through text. Maybe your texting is whack and that's understandable, bro. Once she sees that money maker, yo, of course she's gonna fall in love. But before you hop onto that snap or that FaceTime call, make sure that mug is nice and smooth. It's not oily, acne, or all dirty looking. Your grooming needs to be on point. So you better go grab that heat grooming scrubber, the one that I hooked you up with, and exfoliate that skin. Remove the dead skin cells. Remove that oiliness when you hop on camera. Yo, that sexy stud, pff, of course she's gonna engage with that dude. Oh, what's that? You probably missed out, didn't you? Yeah, I can tell. You missed out. See, the last time we dropped that facial scrubber from He Grooming, it literally sold down in two hours. Chances are when I said that, you didn't pick up. You're like, yo, wh where's my facial scrubber? Where well, I got good news for you. See, May 22nd at 10 a.m. Eastern, we're dropping our new products for He Grooming, which include our new body wash, which smells like a premium fragrance. A body wash that I literally bought the 30 best body washes for men. Everything from $100 body washes to $5 ones. I tested them all out for months. I got the best ingredients out of each one and I created this, which is our brand new body wash, which I promise you is the best of the best. That's exactly how I developed the product. We're also coming out with a deodorant, which is also the best of the best. It doesn't streak or stain your clothing. It keeps you smelling fresh and it also smells fresh. And then more importantly, we are restocking our facial scrubber. Look, the facial scrubber, every time we drop it, it sells out like this. I don't want you to be that guy. I don't want you to be the guy that missed out again because I want your face to always look on point. So if you want that electric facial scrubber or our toothbrush or any of the new products, put a reminder on your phone. Boys, you know how fast this product moves. May 22nd, 10 a.m. Eastern. I want to see you there so you have the products that make men handsome. The third reason why you're a boring texter is because you're following dumb rules. Oh, double the wait time that she made you wait to text her back. Oh, no, no, no. After the first date, wait three days to text her. No, 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 what are you doing? Never text her first. How many times have you heard gurus tell you any of these dumb rules? See, the reason you're such a bad texter is probably also because you don't have good practice and you're not having good practice because you're always avoiding the text, putting the pressure on her to text you first. When you follow dumb rules, you're not putting into practice the one thing you're trying to perfect and like anything else in life, Practice makes perfect. Number four, never send the same greeting every single day. This is the mistake that 99.97% .97 of guys make. They don't know how to open or start a conversation, so what do they do? They start with the same opener, with the same girl every day. A uh, hey, uh, what you do today, what you doing, good morning, beautiful. Like that is literally the extent of knowledge that they have when it comes to openers. See, what you need to understand in this dynamic is that you, when you open the conversation, are the one that wants to talk to the girl. When you open up with one of these openers, you're basically putting up all the pressure on her to build and hold the conversation. Do you really think she's gonna wanna drag herself and do that? So anytime you start a conversation, have a purpose in mind. It could be something as simple as, oh, something you experienced reminded you of her. Or maybe you wanna link up to study, or maybe you just wanna go on a date and set a time in a day. See, when you start with the purpose, you're gonna lead the conversation with excitement, and that 
Yeah, she's gonna be down for that ride. Number five, I need you to switch between questions and stories. See, asking her genuine questions is always a great way to get her to open up, to get to know her, but you also need to understand that we're grown men and we're not gonna be playing 21 questions. So instead of always starting with the questions, you could start the, the conversation like, you won't believe what happened to me. This reminded me of blank and then insert any situation that you both experience and look when it comes to stories i get it maybe your life is boring so is 99 percent of other guys life the difference is that you need to be creative the same way comedians can take like a little slice of their life and blow it up into a skit you can do the same thing with your stories and finally number six you're just sending too many emojis bro look i'm the rules i'm giving you guaranteed success i'm telling you from experience you use these gonna help you out the one rule that i've heard so many guys say is use more emojis emojis especially gurus don't use emojis see emojis come across as feminine or like you're trying too hard most of the time you should be able to express a message with the text itself when, when you do use emojis using sporadically there is no reason why you should be using more emojis than her all that's gonna let her know you're kind of nervous and you're making up for the fact that you're probably a boring texter boys that's it for me today. Those are six things that you need to start doing today to not fall into the trap of being a boring, dry texter. That's it for me today, boys. See you next time.